Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Today we're going to be talking about the Sasha Feinberg and Gomazulu situation and the fact that his uh, injury layoff is expected to be a lot longer than initially suspected after it was initially confirmed by Rashi Rasmus that he injured his knee and was set to still continue to be available for the end of your tour. It now looks like we might not see him for another eight weeks at least and likely probably not seeing him again for the rest of the year. I'm going to talk a little bit about the reaction that Rasmus has had to the injury and, and maybe why his concerns have now been justified given the extent of the injury itself. But uh, before we do that, please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. So following the uh, the All Blacks test, it was confirmed that uh, Sajvan Gomazuli had injured his knee and would be going uh, having surgery on it, which would then rule him out of the Argentina test and the rest of the rugby championship. However, Rusty Rasmus initially had said it's about a four-week layoff and uh, or, or five weeks and he should be back f towards you know the end of year tour and, and there he could then feature on the end of year tour he's quite frustrated though and, and quite annoyed i think it was uh, and he kind of came out and said so did russell rasmus in the press conference saying that he basically gambled and that he had picked up this knee injury during the game in johannesburg and hadn't really disclosed it to the block management and they kind of mentioned him uh, well, they, they saw him limping during one of the training sessions. I think it was the Wednesday, during the training session. He kind of said, well, what's going on? He said, no, no, he you know, took a knock in the, the Jobe test. And uh, Rashi Rasmus said, was, was quite open. He said, you know, at the end of the day, players have got to be honest. They've got to understand, and this is the quote, saying that nobody who's got an injury and is 80% ready is better than a Springbok who has no injuries and is 100% ready. And, and that's a big point. You know, that is the whole thing with the Springbok death. At the end of the day, if you're not 100 percent you're not better than anybody else who's at 100 percent uh you know if you guys are both at 100 percent then cool you're probably the better player but if you're at least 80 90 percent you know there are other players who are 100 percent fitness they are better options for them now you can understand why such family government really probably didn't want to sort of disclose the injury you know he has just come through he's now had six tests or five six tests under his belt he was the number one he was on the, the radar you know everything they'd possibly want from a international career point of view was happening and as a result i think he basically took a knock i think he was like oh, this is fine i can get through it you know because why wouldn't he want to play in cape town in, in, you know against the all blacks in front of his home fans the biggest test match ever in his career and one of the best test matches he'll ever continue to have in his career until he gets like a world cup or the like, british Arch lion series for example and the annoying thing is especially i think from a, from a, especially from a streamer point of view is he's 22 years old well you really want to prolong this career we want him playing streamer right for another 14 years um, so, Rossi said that uh, so Sasha is lucky that we won those test matches because he gambled a bit and said that that's what our players must understand. We have respect for everybody, but we must be honest and when it comes to injuries. And look, he would have learned the lesson already, um, and it's, it's a harsh lesson to learn. But uh, the annoying thing right now, the frustrating thing, is that it looks like it's a bit more serious than initially feared because it is the same knee he has already injured. So whilst the initial sort of diagnosis was sort of five weeks, John Dobson has come out and said that uh, whilst he can technically return in about eight weeks, they are not going to rush him back. And he said as follows. He said there was some danger to the same, uh, there's some damage to the same knee he injured last year. That is a concern, having injured the same knee twice in a year. The official prognosis is an eight-week layoff. However, given the history and given that you can get an early onset of arthritis with a repeat injury, it will be a tragedy for a player that has massive contribution to make to, uh, to the game in South Africa and the Stormers. I suspect it should be a couple of weeks longer than that, the eight-week period. He said the last thing you want is for him to get some sort of arthritis or some career-threatening situation. We will be very conservative with his return, which is what you have to be. You know, as he said, you know, this is a player who's going to play for another decade and some. He can make another two World Cups, maybe even a third World Cup. But he's only going to be able to do that if he's fit and firing. So... I'm glad the Storm is going to go with the conservative route and we're not going to see him back. Obviously, we would have all loved to see him at the end of the year tour. This, for me, becomes a massive opportunity for Miley Levock. You could really hopefully get in at least one game at the end of the year tour, continue to try and prove his worth to the box setup. It also means they'll have to take a third fly hop over, maybe something like a Jordan Hench to get him drafted back in or a Sima So uh, it will be an opportunity for some players. From a Sash Fine point of view, the main thing is is that we've seen what he can do. He's, he's international already. I think that's the main thing. And he'll be straight back in the setup next year. But unfortunately for us as fans, we're not going to see him the rest of the year. I think we'll probably see him kind of early January, would be my guess. Uh, you know, really give him as much time as possible, make sure he's 100% ready to go before he get back, gets back on that field. Hopefully, he can then get sort of four or five months of a ULC rugby under his belt and then go once again with the spring box but uh, let me know what you think of the situation down in the comments below please do smash a like on the video please do subscribe to the channel as well 
Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.